Got some new video of a Wall Street protest that shut down a major New York City bridge this weekend. The New York City police handcuffing more than 700 members of the group that's called Occupy Wall Street. And they were demonstrating on the Brooklyn Bridge. The protesters shut down a lane of traffic. It was for several hours yesterday. And their cries against Wall Street continue downtown this afternoon. Julie Banderas is live in our New York newsroom with more. Julie. Yeah, it had been peaceful up until yesterday anyway. The group Occupy Wall Street had orchestrated an impromptu trek to Brooklyn. But as they walked in thick rows on the sidewalk up to the Brooklyn Bridge, some actually spilled onto the roadway after being told to stay on the pedestrian pathway by police. Then this happened. And those who didn't comply, a total of 700 people were then arrested for disorderly conduct and released. Some protesters said that they were lured onto the roadway by police. Some sat on the roadway chanting, let us go, while others yelled at police from a walkway above. Now, police say no one there was tricked into being arrested, and those in the back of the group who didn't hear those announcements were allowed to leave. The demonstrators, meantime, have been camped out there in the financial district for two weeks now, holding signs in protest of every everything really from corporate greed and social inequality to global warming. It had been peaceful until clashes with police began yesterday after they swarmed the Brooklyn Bridge and shut down a lane of traffic for several hours. Also, other parts of the country, there are protesters gathering there as well in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Denver, Boston, and Los Angeles to express their solidarity with the movement here in New York. A turnout has reached as high as a few thousand in some places. Back here in New York City, a core group of people, about 200 in all, remain camped out throughout the week, sleeping on air mattresses, using Mac laptops and playing drums. A few times a day, they'll march down to Wall Street yelling, this is what democracy looks like.